Hello everyone and welcome back to another BCP library video. In today's video we're going to be doing some activities to do with volcanoes. First of all I'm going to tell you 10 facts about volcanoes that you might find interesting. There are also links to some activities and websites and videos in the description below if you want to find out more. And also we're going to be doing some other activities. There is a fun science experiment to do, also how to make a pop-up volcano book and also a parts of a volcano sheet that you can colour in which is also printable in the description below. So let's start with some facts about volcanoes. So here are 10 facts about volcanoes. Number one, a volcano is an opening on the earth's surface. It's usually found in a mountain. The opening allows gas, hot magma and ash to escape from beneath the Earth's crust. Volcanoes form on boundaries of tectonic plates. Tectonic plates form the surface of the Earth, kind of like a jigsaw. Volcanoes also exist on the ocean floor and under ice caps. Volcanoes exist throughout the solar system too. Other planets and moons have volcanoes. The largest volcano in our solar system is Olympus Mons, found on Mars. Number two, the word volcano comes from the Roman word Vulcan, the Roman god of fire. Number three, volcanoes are classified as active, dormant or extinct. This refers to the amount of volcanic activity. Active means they're regularly active. Dormant means that there has been recent activity but the volcano is currently quiet. And extinct means it's been oh, so long since the last eruption that it's unlikely to ever erupt again. Number four, volcanoes can be a variety of shapes. These geographical wonders come in various shapes and sizes, but there are two main types. Composite volcanoes, which are cone-shaped with steep slopes, and shield volcanoes, which are wide with gentle slopes. Number five, magma and lava are two different things. Magma is the name given to hot liquid rock inside a volcano. Once it leaves the volcano, it's known as lava. Number six, lava from the volcano can reach 1,250 degrees C. Lava is so hot it can burn everything in its path. If you use a glass thermometer to take the temperature, it would melt. The world's largest active volcano is Moana Loa in Hawaii, standing at a whopping 4,169 metres tall. This geological giant last erupted in 1984. Number 8. In 79 AD, the Italian town of Pompeii was destroyed and buried by a volcano called Mount Vesuvius. Incredibly, the ash deposits preserve the town and the remains of the people within it, as well as jars of preserved fruit and loaves of bread. Archaeologists discovered the site in 1748 and it is still interesting historians today. Number 9. Volcanoes can produce rich fertile land. Over time, lava and ash break down to produce nutrient-rich soil, which is great for growing crops. That's why some people like to set up home on slopes of a volcano. And finally, it's not just humans that make use of volcanoes, birds do too. Malia birds bury their eggs in the sand or soil near volcanoes to keep them warm. When the chicks hatch, they claw their way up to the surface. If you would like to find out some more information about volcanoes, there are quite a few links in the video description to websites and other videos with some information and fun things to do. But now let's do some activities. So first of all we're going to do a volcano experiment and for this you'll need a tray. I've covered mine in kitchen foil to minimise mess. Something to decorate your volcanoes with. I use some rocks, a bottle with a little bit of water. You need a little less water than I've got there. Either some food colouring or some washable paints. I've got rocks like I said to decorate mine but you can use paper mache or plasticine. Some washing up liquid and some bicarbonate of soda and some white vinegar and also a grown-up to help you and supervise. So first of all you need to assemble your volcano. I've got my bottle here with a tiny bit of water in and I'm just putting a load of rocks from the outside around the bottle and you can either use paper mache or rocks or you don't have to decorate it at all. I just wanted to make it look a little bit more volcano-like. And once I had done that, I'm going to add a drop of washable paint. I'm going to use some red paint first because I want my volcano to have lava. If you don't have washable paint, you can use food colouring. And then I'm going to add a little bit of washing up liquid, just a tiny little bit. And then some bicarbonate of soda. I'm adding about two spoonfuls and I got a little bit messy with mine but it doesn't matter 
doesn't matter if it gets a bit messy there we go look I got a little bit messy but it doesn't matter because it could just be snow on the side of the volcano it doesn't matter at all and I'm adding a little bit of yellow paint as well just to make it a little bit more orangey and now we're going to add the vinegar and this is the really messy bit and this is the reaction because the vinegar reacts with the bicarbonate of soda and it makes a really big fizz so you just need to keep pouring the vinegar in and it might help if you take off the spout of the vinegar holder because mine was a little bit slow it didn't erupt very fast I thought about it afterwards and that might help get a faster eruption but as you can see it fizzes up really nicely and it looks like a volcano is exploding so you just need to make sure you've got a grown up around to help you and the fact that I've got some tin foil on my tray means that it will be very easy to clean up. So there is my erupted volcano. I'm also using a smaller cup to show you that it does erupt a bit quicker and what different size cups look like. So I'm just going to add the vinegar now and you'll see that it goes a bit quicker. So there we go, the volcano is erupting like this look and I've left a link in the description below to a website that gives you the full details of this experiment if you want to know the exact measurements to use and what other things you could do. So here is my volcano, just keep adding the vinegar just to make it erupt that a little bit more and that is how you make a volcano at home. So now we're going to make a pop-up volcano, so we need some card, some pens or crayons, some scissors and glue. So first of all, you need to take a piece of card and draw your volcano. So I'm doing a mountain shape with a dip in it because a volcano has a crater where the lava comes out. And then joining the sides together, like this. It needs to be relatively straight. And then I need, we need to add two tabs, like this, underneath like that there we go those are the two tabs and then we are going to add some lava just falling down the volcano like this doing it coming out both sides and then coming down here as well you could do as much lava as you want you can also do some ash at the top if you want to it's totally up to you so this is all my lava i'm just adding some drips as it goes all the way down then you need to colour it in. I've coloured the lava in orange and yellow and the volcanoes are grey and brown to make it look like a mountain and look like the lava is going all the way down it like this. And then once you have done that, you need to cut out your volcano very carefully with some scissors and just make sure you've got someone to supervise you if your scissors are quite sharp. And once you've cut out your volcano, it will look something like this. And then we need to get rid of the excess bits of card like that. And then we need to take another piece of card and fold it in half, a bit like you do when you make a birthday card or a Christmas card. Just fold it in half and then open it up. And then we have a nice fold in the middle. And then we need to take our volcano Fold the tabs down that we've made, like this, fold it behind, because that is what we're going to use to glue the volcano to the card. Then we are going to fold it in half, down the middle, it doesn't have to be exactly in half. And then we're going to make a V-shape with it and put some glue onto the tabs, like so. And then stick it down to the card like this. And then that will give us a pop-up volcano and you want to stick it near the top of the card so it doesn't poke out when it's folded in and now i've just drawn a pool of lava underneath the volcano on the card and i've colored it in just to make it look like the volcano has erupted so that is how you make a basic pop-up volcano like this and it will close up and fold in and it will pop up again when you open it but you don't have to just do a volcano, you can do what Charlie did and make a whole book so you can maybe write some information about the volcano on the front. Charlie has done a picture of the parts of the volcano on the front and he's put in some facts about the volcanoes that he's learned from listening to me and the links in the description below. He's done quite a lot of research. So his volcano pops up and there's lots of facts all about volcanoes inside. And then on the back of his booklet, he has written a little bit of information about Pompeii. But you don't have to do this. You can just do a simple pop-up volcano and decorate it however you like, or you can add some more information if you want to. 
And finally, we have parts of a volcano colouring page, which is available for you to print in the description below. There is a link, you can just click on it and print it out and you can colour it in. I'm just colouring mine in simply, but you can do yours however you like. You might want to make it into a collage. You might want to add some cotton wool for the ash, for example. You might want to use some tissue paper. You might want to use paint. You can do it however you want to. I've also added some grass and a sun and just some little rocks inside for the different layers of the volcano, but it's totally up to you what you want to do. You could be as creative as you like, or you can draw it yourself. You can just pause the video when you see this in the beginning of the video and you can copy it out yourself. So those are my volcano activities. It's your turn now to see if you can make a volcano at home. Maybe you want to make a pop-up book or you want to do the parts of a volcano, or you might want to find out even more information by going to the links in the description below. But that is all for this video and we'll see you in another BCP library video very soon.